Good to see you, champion. Congratulations on your big win against Cody at the Rumble. Huh. Feels good to finally quiet the critics. Indeed. And good to have you back here on Raw 2. Although last time you visited, it ended with me sporting a black eye. Ah, it was a heated moment and you got caught in the crossfire. Sorry about that. We good? I've been in this business for 40 years. If I cut ties with everyone who's punched me in the face, I'd have no friends. I'm glad we can move past that and focus on what's next. Don't you mean, who's next? Since you're holding all the gold, you'll be facing the winner of last night's Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford. I've been wanting to mix it up with him for years. WrestleMania is going to be huge when I tear the house down with Ford and tie Roman's record. Well, we're going to give the WWE Universe a preview of WrestleMania when you and Montez have a little chat in the ring tonight. Let's do this. The newly crowned double champion is here on Raw to kick off the road to WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the undisputed WWE Universal World Heavyweight Champion. That's quite a mouthful, champ. I agree. Maybe we'll just call him the undisputed champion from now on. Well, hello there, Raw! <laughs> it's pretty damn cool to be back where I started, but on a whole different level. Speaking of reaching a whole new level, I'm not the only guy who had a good night at the Royal Rumble. See, there's a man who's got a WrestleMania main event to cash in, a superstar who's ready to make the leap. Honestly, he reminds me a bit of myself from a few years back. <laughs> so let me introduce you to this year's winner of the Royal Rumble match, Montez Ford! Oh, we're gonna see it now. The two biggest dogs in the yard are gonna face off. Both these men look ready to go. Well, they're gonna have to wait until WrestleMania. It's a mutual respect between Ford and the champion. What's this? It's not the best time for technical difficulties. It's Roman Reigns. This guy will not let our champion celebrate a single moment. Undisputed, huh? Look at you, peacocking around like you mean something. That title you took from Cody at the Rumble? They made it up because nobody could beat me. I am so tired of hearing people compare you to me. Are you so deluded that you really think I would let a pretender like you Time my record with the Universal title? Nah. Mm -mm. Come on. You shouldn't even be there. Montez Ford! You're a young man with a bright future. And I'm sorry to say this, but you're not the guy I can count on to beat this clown at Mania. So there's been a change of plans. See? What I did is I took a big briefcase full of my Hollywood money, flew in my private jet out to the woods of Minnesota, and I hired myself a hunter who knows a little something about ending streets at Mania. Hope it was fun while it lasted. Shame. What? The Beast is back! Montez 
board isn't going to roll over for anyone. Here we go. F5 on the stage from Brock. Ford is hurt. But here comes the champion. No. Solo Sokoa. Has the bloodline reunited? It certainly looks that way. Brock Lesnar just broke Ford's arm. Regal trying to restore some order. Stereo super kicks right to the GM's jaw. No, they have to stop. Regal's not a competitor anymore. Welcome to Suplex City, champ. Montez Ford is down. Regal is down. Dark Horse is down. Who can stop Brock Lesnar and the Bloodline? The reunited Bloodline and Brock are working together to break the undisputed champion before he can make it to WrestleMania. And the champ can't do a damn thing about it. Isn't this great? Roman's brilliant plan put Regal in the hospital. So there's no debate now. Who's the best GM in WWE? It's me! You are the picture of class, Miz. I have exactly zero patience for you or any of this. I want the bloodline, and I want them now. I am generally not in the give the dark horse what he wants business. But in this case, I cannot wait to see Brock and the Bloodline break you and your big dreams of beating Roman's record at Mania. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. You don't even sound sure yourself, but whatever. You wanna get the hell kicked out of you on the way to Mania? Who am I to stop the fun? Hey, I hear you're going after the Bloodline after what they did to you and Regal. I am. They're gonna get what's coming to them. Nobody knows the Bloodline better than I do. I know your story, Sammy. You don't. You only know what you saw on TV. Let me help you take them down. Sammy, I appreciate that. I do. But this is something I have to do on my own. Look, I tried to take out the bloodline alone, and it didn't work. You need backup. I owe my career to Regal. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him having faith in me when nobody else did. And then the bloodline tore him apart while I did nothing. Nothing. I hear you, but I'm telling you, you're making a mistake trying to do this alone. We haven't even talked about the fact that they have Brock Lesnar now. I don't have time for any of this. I'm done talking. I'm taking down the bloodline. Now. Well, I tried. Good luck, champ. You're gonna need it.
With the bloodline reunited and stronger than ever, you can see the confidence in Solo Sokoa. It's the undisputed champ. He's taking a big risk, if you ask me. This is our undisputed champion attacking Solo in the parking lot. What has the bloodline been up to for the past few years? This is a small taste of their own medicine. The champ better finish what he started here because what you don't want is an angry Solo Sokoa coming after you. Oh. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. The arms trap. Burying knees into the body. The champion with a hard strike. But here come the Usos. You attack one member of the bloodline, you attack them all. This could be a repeat of what happened when they reunited. And Solo with the spike. And now they're sending him up for something else. Right into the side of that car. He might be joining Regal and Montez Ford on the IR when this is over. What is Jey Uso directing them to do? It looks like the champ's about to go for a ride. Shades of the shield. No, not this. Down onto the car. The champ bit off more than he could chew. And this guy isn't even going to make it to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. For the second time, the newly reformed bloodline has left our undisputed champion lying. That didn't turn out so well. <sighs> yeah, maybe you were right. There is no taking the bloodline out one at a time. There's only taking them all out in a single blow with even numbers. The Usos have a match tonight. I should strike afterwards when they least expect it. Or should I say, we? You in? Yep, but knowing how they operate, we're gonna need one more guy. You got someone in mind? I do. Let's do this. These guys have been on a roll ever since the Bloodline reunited. Wait, wait, it's the champ and Sami Zayn! We know his history with the Bloodline! And they're taking it to the Usos! The sides have been even up, at least for now. Sami Zayn and the Undisputed Champion are getting after the Usos, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns. Actions speak louder than words, Cole, and the champ is speaking loudly by taking the bloodline head on like this. After what happened in the parking lot the last time the champion went after them, he was smart to bring their old run, Sami Zayn, to the ring. Followed by a forearm smash. Hooked up, placed in the corner, and that was an expertly executed DDT. This isn't a match, it's just a fight. Hard strikes from the champ. But here comes Solo Sokoa. Solo nails the champion with a headbutt. So much for evening the odds. The bloodline now has a three on two advantage. Not anymore. The champ and his little buddies walked the bloodline right into a trap. 
Sammy sends Jey Uso over the top. And there goes Jimmy. What a shot to Solo Sokoa. He got knocked right out of the ring. They jumped the bloodline from behind, and then they act like they won some kind of fair fight. As soon as the sides were even, the bloodline ran for the hills. It's called a strategic retreat, Cole. The balance of power just shifted on the road to WrestleMania. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself after outsmarting the bloodline. Well, you get to keep riding that high because I have some good news for you. That would be a first. Miz has made a match. You and your two self-destructive brothers-in-arms are going to take on the bloodline in a no-disqualification six-man tornado tag match. Oh, you managed to get that out without looking at the note on your hand. Good job, Troy. We accept. Here they are to unleash their collective might onto the bloodline. And at a combined weight of 679 pounds, the Superstar, Sami Zayn and Steve Austin. The WWE. Before we get to WrestleMania, the undisputed champion and his allies take on the reformed bloodline in a six-man tag team match. These two sides have had some vicious battles as of late, and now they're going to settle it in the ring. Nothing will truly be settled until our champion faces the beast Brock Lesnar at Mania. Then we'll see who truly comes out on top. This one isn't going to be ended quite so easily. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Stiff elbow will break that up. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Green Buster. Force going directly to the dome. That'll leave you seeing double for weeks. Sokoa's face now. German suplex. But that's not all. Plenty of ways to get creative. Up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Counters that. Placed into the corner. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan. 
complain about now. Knee right to the face. Every strike more devastating than the last. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Uh-oh. Long side kick. Oh, man. My goodness, look at this. Oh, he's got 11 arms and feet. Walking wounded have arrived. I'm honestly surprised you made it, after what Brock did to you and your friends last week. Three plus years, Miz. I'd think you would have learned about doubting me by now. Tonight, those doubts finally come true. I tried to warn you years ago that this would end in tears that you would come this close in getting out of Roman's shadow and failed at the finish line is going to eat you up for the rest of your life. You know the definition of insanity, right? Repeating the same action again and again, expecting different results. So what? So that's you underestimating me and having it blow up in your face every time. Not this time. Not against Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna paint you a picture. I keep my titles tonight, tying Roman's universal record. Then tomorrow, I watch night two of Mania with my feet up in a skybox as the clock strikes midnight and I beat Roman's record. No! Yes, Miz. Yes. And then... On SmackDown, 
you are going to have the honor of introducing me as the longest reigning universal champion in WWE history. I guarantee you that will not happen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal and the World Heavyweight Championships. Undisputed Champion is here at WrestleMania. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion and the Undisputed. WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! Interesting situation here as the champ has decided to defend both titles tonight. One day, one more day, and the undisputed champion goes into history books tying Roman Reigns' title run. One day? I thought you meant that the champ has one more day on Earth. After all, he is running head-on into a buzzsaw named Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is no stranger to beating streaks at WrestleMania. Will the champion reign supreme and make history? Or will the Beast devour another opponent, cutting short their glory on the grandest stage of them all? Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? He's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. And Brock puts a stop to that. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Big risk here, he may be counted out. 
He might be oblivious to the count, guys. The Beast is feeding off the energy in the WWE Universe. Everything working against Lesnar now. You don't see Lesnar flustered like this very often. Knee to the midsection. Bang to the neck. And strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. The champ isn't backing off, bringing the lightning and thunder with every single strike. Mounted, Mounted palm strikes. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. to the stomach. Big double oh. back drop suplex. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. Suplex! Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And a suplex! Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Headlock cinched it and just tossed their opponent. It's like we're seeing the power of an uncaged animal right now. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Slam down. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Yeah, Lesnar just having fun out there at this point. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He knows how to avoid contact. Running knee lift. at the knees, just unloading knees to the body. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. He reverses it. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. And the momentum's clearly against Brock now. But I doubt the... Up into the torture rack. Oh! Feast your eyes. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Winning this title means to give everything you got. I don't know how much you have left after that, but you've got to be covers. impressed. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. Would you just look at him? Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. With the reversal. Thrown back in under the ropes. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Nice take down. Two, getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Four, right to the jaw. Boom. Right to the gut. Ooh. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Well, Brock way lays him. his plan here. He steps foot in the ring again. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Larian. Up into the torture rack. Oh, oh man. Look at Lesnar's face. The beast tasting his own blood. He's done it. He's done it. By the end of WrestleMania weekend, the undisputed champion will tie Roman Reigns' record-setting reign with the WWE Universal title. I can't believe it. It's about time you started to believe.
Not this. Roman Reigns interrupting the champion's moment again at WrestleMania. You know what, Roman? I don't want to hear it. You've been doing this for three years now. Instead of, what is it you're doing? Celebrity guest host on some game show? Shilling your new NFT? Or maybe, just maybe, you're filming another cameo in a failing sequel. Don't know what to say without a script? I'll help you out. The only table you're the head of anymore is the one that Rock brushes his crumbs onto. I'm here. I'm doing the work. And the only thing... I'm sure you got a lot to say, but... It doesn't matter. When you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Roman Reigns! After years away in Hollywood, the head of the table is back! The entire WWE Universe is in shock! Unbelievable! Hope you're not too busy tomorrow night, champ. Because the landlord is back. And rent is due. Do we have a new WWE Universal Championship match set for night two of WrestleMania? This is unprecedented. The undisputed champ might as well kiss breaking Roman's record goodbye. Kayla, night one of WrestleMania was an incredible experience, but all of the focus now is on what happened after the undisputed champion defeated Brock Lesnar. That's right, Byron. Roman Reigns made a shocking return by laying out the champion right after his successful main event defense. The dark horse slayed the beast, but immediately fell to the head of the table. Roman Reigns then issued a challenge for tonight. And the undisputed champ accepted. For the first time in WrestleMania history, one superstar will be main eventing both nights. In addition to Charlotte Flair's huge women's world championship defense against Gigi Dolan, the WWE Universal title will be on the line. The undisputed champ will defend against Roman Reigns, who stated that his only interest is taking back his Universal title. At midnight tonight, whichever man wins will walk out the longest reigning WWE Universal Champion in history. Get ready for history to be made on night two of WrestleMania. You made it. I told you, I wouldn't miss this for the world. How are you feeling? You ready? You know, I've been getting the hell beat out of me for days. My ribs ache so bad it hurts to breathe and not knowing Miz, I'm sure I'll have something up his sleeve. Typical Sunday night then? Pretty much. I'd give you the full Churchill, but I don't think you need inspirational speeches anymore. No? You're a champion, twice over. You've more than fulfilled your potential, so I'll save the pretty words for the next kid coming up. Thanks, Regal. For everything. Congratulations, champ. Thanks. I said I was gonna go to Raw and win their title, and that's what I did. And now it's your turn to deliver. You want out of Roman Shadow? 
This is the moment. I feel like hell, but I'll make it. Oh, stop with that. What? Nobody believes in me. Everyone thinks Roman's gonna win, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it's exhausting. Wow. Stiff. Seriously, how are you still dealing with imposter syndrome after three plus years as champion? I mean, I guess I just... You're so used to people doubting you that you won't let them believe in you. Woods, Rollins, Rhodes, Lesnar, you beat everyone who came for that belt, while Roman, holy art thou reigns, was sipping organic smoothies in an air-conditioned trailer. <laughs> I'm right, though. You might not feel like it, but you're not the dark horse anymore. You're the... the horse that people expect to win. The favorite? That's right. You're the favorite. So go out there and prove all of us right. The ultimate challenge awaits this man, the undisputed champion. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 215 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight champion the superstar I have a feeling we're about to see a classic gentlemen 
You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. The history of WWE will be changed forever tonight. With Roman Reigns shocking WrestleMania return, we will find out who is the greatest champion of all time. This book off into the pin. Gets the shoulder up after one there. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Ooh, harsh kick. Arm ringer applied. And look out. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Had an answer for the training back and forth blows now. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Neither competitor is backing down. Reigns can't yield any attack coming his way. Roman keeps getting cut off at the pass. Irish whip. Reigns reverses. Spear! Spear! The undisputed champion hit Reigns with his own move. Hold on. Roman's got a hold of the champion. Reigns has locked in a guillotine submission. What is Miz doing out here? He's calling for the bell. Miz must have heard the champ give up. This is Montreal all over again. No. Not tonight, Miz. SmackDown's GM is out cold. Call off the match and get help for the Miz. Reigns on the move, guys. Air Robin. But the champ moved. Reigns just broke one of our producers in half. I never liked that guy. Miz's last-ditch attempt to screw the dark horse out of the WWE Universal Championship has ended in carnage. It looks like this war will continue. <laughs> Running knee lift. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Roman has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Ouch! Perched on the shoulders. Oh! Feast your eyes. The champ has this one in hand now. No, no, not now. I don't believe it. How did the challengers survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Getting him into the corner. I oh, able to counter. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. And he barely evades. The big dog had that scouted. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming at him. Oh, stop after stop after stop. Jeez. Reigns had that scouted. Roman managing to get some control back now. Yeah, Roman was able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but can he take control of this match? Reigns laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Running knee lift. Oh, right in there. Stopping their opponent. Oh, and forearm smash. And Roman Reigns demanding acknowledgement from the WWE Universe. Shoulder tackle. The champ not in a great place. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Oh, timely boot. Perched on the shoulders. Oh, feast your eyes. The champ will stay champ. Champion has tied Roman Reigns' WWE Universal title record by beating the man himself. Correction, Byron. It's after midnight, so Roman's record has officially been shattered. It's a new day and a new record. I cannot believe it. It seemed like this day would never come. I don't think Roman can believe it either.
The whole WWE Universe is in shock. Despite all the champion's accomplishments, there were still doubters that he could pull this off, myself included. I just want to soak this in. This is history right here. Wait, what's this? Roman Reigns about to head to the back, but now he stopped. Is the head of the table about to finally acknowledge the undisputed champion? No, no. Look at Roman's face, Cole. The champion has not seen the last of him. Maybe not. But tonight is not about Roman Reigns. Tonight is about our record-breaking undisputed champion. He doesn't want or need Reigns' approval because he just beat him in the middle of the ring. That's right, Corey. Maybe it's time for you to acknowledge the Dark Horse after all these years. Agreeing with you is like biting a lemon, Saxton. But WrestleMania is all about moments. And even I have to admit that this guy, well, what he's done tonight is incredible. The champion has stepped out of Roman Reigns' shadow. He's overcome Miz's attempt to steal the title. He overcame years of obstacles. And tonight, he became a legend. For Byron Saxton, Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. And this is the end of WrestleMania and the beginning of a new era.